Drop them. No, you can you drop them. <laughs> Let's go, bro. <laughs> you dropped them, dude. Look at the way in there. <laughs> hold on, hold on. You might need to reload just to. You don't want them to get up. Oh, I need my ram reload. <laughs> We snuck out here. I guarantee it's that buck that Josh had on camera right outside. It's him for sure. Has tall time. We snuck in here, what, three o'clock, I think we got here. Jumped up in this blind back here. We probably saw, what, 12 deer? Yeah. Probably 12 or 13 deer. The deer was standing right here at what, 30 yards? 30 yards. And the gun didn't go off. Hunting with the flintlock here with John Howland. And 
didn't go off. They got all nervous, went back to the edge of the field. And then he started skirting out the bottom edge here. And John shot and dropped him. Must have hit him right in the shoulder. <laughs> John has set some long hours this year. <laughs> I think he went out every night. And he's supposed to get blood drawn tonight. <laughs> and he decided to come out anyhow. And he shot a beautiful buck. Especially with a flintlock. Look at that. Ten point. Still kicking a little bit. Well, oh, he's like a. Yeah, ten point, right? Yeah. All right, here we are. This is John's, actually, 2022 buck. Um, this is January the 11th. We're getting towards the end of the season. We actually have what four days left after four days. today. Yep. Um, and we snuck up in here to a box blind that um, John has on the edge of this. They have a little food plot here. Um, the deer just pretty much killed it, decimated it. Um, and as you can see, um, we had a bunch of does and some little, you know, yearling bucks and uh, even a spike come out before this and John decided to wait. Um, and then this deer came out. He was actually like the second to last deer out. Um, he came up, walked up the edge of the field right to us, um, to about 30 yards, gun misfired. Um, they spooked when the gun, uh, it flashed but didn't go off. And then ran down here to the corner. A couple more deer came out, um, when he was standing at the corner. He settled around, settled down, turned back around and walked the edge of this field and gave John about a hundred yard shot. And with a flintlock, it's pretty good, with good poke. Um, John shot. He actually ended up hitting him, base of the neck, you know, right by the shoulder there. So that put him down, as you can see, and dropped him right in his tracks. So pretty awesome. It's a pretty good feat to shoot a nice buck, especially this late in the season, um, with the flintlock here in Pennsylvania. So pretty awesome. Stick with us. More Total Impact Outdoors. Thanks for watching. This is uh, the royal treatment. This is preferred hunting ground. Bring the chariot right up to the to the deer. Load them up. Back down to it, sunshine. Got to do her by the leg. <laughs> <laughs> well. Like we said, you get older, you work smarter and not harder. That's right. My back, Josh. My back. That's good. Well, we had a little technical difficulty. We got back and deer's gone. <laughs> Fell off the truck on the way back. We're going to go back and... See if we can track her up again. <laughs> well, we found them again. <laughs> Dropped off the truck on the way across the field. I said it was getting a little bumpy. Well, he fell off. We got him now, though. <laughs>